All right, a couple of uh, newsworthy notes from the press conference. They talked about this being the largest arena gate in WWE history, so that obviously is non-stadium. Right, right. So it was over $3 million. They averaged $300 a ticket. $300 a ticket. Holy smokes. You know, the Glasgow show is going to beat it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the, the Glasgow show, the ticket prices are insane for the Glasgow show. He said uh, they'd been uh, asked about returning, and he said Nick Khan said they text during the show with the word stadium. So, they should. Uh, they, they should. should. This, they had 11,600 people. I mean, like, they obviously, they sold out, you know, pretty quick. I mean, they should should try. They probably would do real well. And there's a stadium right across the street from where they ran. So why not? Um, I could see, you know, I mean, it, you know, all of these things. It was funny when, when, when Levesque was afterwards was talking about, like, oh, you know, we wanted to do this. And we, you know, it's like they're going to go where somebody pays to bring them in. <laughs> Every one of these shows, it's like, it's like. Like he's going like you know how you get the, you you get us to come be loud and it's like no you get your government to pay oh yes you be loud with your pocketbook yeah the government to pay yes you know and it's like he was really pushing because the, the you know um Khan the mayor not the not Nick Khan and not Tony the mayor of uh, London who just won re-election really wants to bring in mania so it's just like you know show us the money type of thing right you know that's what it pretty much was. And they also asked about Drew Gulak and asked if it had anything to do with Rousey. And he just basically said he was not released. His contract just was not renewed. But yeah. nobody bothered to ask, well, why wasn't it renewed? Well, no, well, they, they, they couldn't. Okay, here's what happened. The press conference was over. And they were four minutes short because he had, uh, you know, he wanted to be off when the uh, Kentucky Derby thing started when they were going to make the announcement of WrestleMania for Vegas. So... Because he had four more minutes, he goes, hey, I'll take another question. And that was like the first actual question, like real legitimate question that, that they got. And it was like, you know, um, and he goes up, a PW Insider and Fightful said that, uh, um, you know, Drew Gulak was, uh, you know, was fired or whatever released because of the Ronda Rousey thing. And then he just goes, um, and he just goes, his, you know, he never addressed Rousey and just goes, um he wasn't released. His contract wasn't renewed, which it's whatever. It's semantic. It's the same thing. But then he throws the shot in of, you know, you should probably listen to more credible sources. And it was just like, you know, the guy can't help himself, you know, and, and you know, they WWE quickly apologized to everyone, to, to them, but privately, not publicly. He didn't apologize. Although I actually I shouldn't say that because I actually I think he actually called Sean Sapp and probably quietly apologized or whatever he said. We don't know because. It was basically he told Sean Sapp, like, you know, this is off the record. But, you know, and then, you know, they they called, you know, whoever they called PW Insider and all that. And it's like it was a it was a bullshit comment and um, shouldn't have said it. If Tony Khan would have said it, the people people would have gone completely nuts, insane. But, you know, he can get away with it because, you know, everyone's, you know, they're hot and everyone's kissing up to him. And, uh, you know. That's the basic gist of it. And the one thing I got to say is, is like, I don't, you know, I find it actually an insult to your intelligence to try and say that, and he never said Ronda Rousey had nothing to do with it. However, we did start seeing stuff of, oh, you know, Drew Gulick was this and Drew Gulick was that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, this was the, this, you know. It's, it's the timing makes it completely obvious. The minute that thing happened, the guy was taken off TV. When he was taken off TV, I, you know, I was going like, is he done? And it's like, the answer was, he's not officially done, but he's not coming back. It's if, if you can't tell that it was the Ronda Rousey thing, you know, but they, because the investigation wasn't conclusive, they can't say that. Um, but the whole thing is, is that, you know, they're afraid the fan base might turn, get mad. She said this in a public forum. Everyone, many, many people know it. She, you know, it, it became a big story. And he's a guy with a main roster contract, so he's getting paid, you know, reasonably well. I mean, not, you know, not giant money, but much bigger money than, than an NXT guy. And they have no plans for him on the main roster. He's just going to be an NXT guy in the catch club. And... The reality is that he was all over TV. The catch crew was not being phased out. He was not being phased out. It was just like the decision was made. Obviously, timing is perfect to take him off. And 
everything else now is just kind of like, I find it kind of like an insult uh, to your intelligence to even try to tell you that, oh, you know, he was whatever he was, you know, like whatever these stories are that suddenly came out on, on Drew Gulak. It's like, you know, you know what happened? They can't say it. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's quite obvious what happened. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things where, you know, like if you go in there and the, and the, um, the idea of what, of, of perhaps something that, that is, it's not like it's nothing, um, but it's certainly nothing compared to what has been done in the past that nobody's gotten fired for, but it's a different t- time and a different day and it's Drew Gulak and it's not somebody else who's a bigger star. And so for all those reasons, you know, there's a different standard. The lower you are on the totem pole, the less it takes to get to get you fired. And this one wasn't something quietly that came out somewhere. This was something from the voice of a star, a woman star with a big voice, um, you know, and it's just like it was the, the way it was handled. And um, so anyway, that's the Drew Gulick thing. But, um, you know, him him running down those outlets, I thought was... Um, I guess you know it's 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 a real reality check to people who think differently, but it's like you know that's that's the deal. I think that his, I think he 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 said without thinking a couple of things, and you know they kind of had to backtrack. But he's not going to publicly apologize because that's a sign of weakness. So you know they did that, and you know it's shouldn't the apology be as public as a disrespect? Didn't somebody say that at one point? Well, that, that's that's punk. <laughs> um, but no, no, no. But but no, no. Re- realistically, realistically, like you know, yeah, he, he he could he could apologize um, for it, but he's not going to. No. Um, or maybe he will. I shouldn't say he was not going to. I can't think for him. But he should. He should. Um, but it is. I mean, here's the reality of all of that. You know, it's like all these people. Like I I have no false illusions of anyone when they. You know how they react to me and everything like that as far as when everyone's nice it's like i'm doing my job and they're doing their job and i got nothing personal about any of it it's fine you know but a lot of these people think that like oh you know if we're super nice to them and blah blah they this is what they think unless you totally kiss their ass they they're not gonna they don't deep down deep down do they like it no but they're gonna play the game especially now because there's two companies and they, you know, when there's two companies, you have to, I mean, it's the same thing as before when WCW was around, man, when WCW was beating WWE, there was nobody nicer to me than WWE and Vince McMahon. When this tale, and you know, perfect example, the movie beyond the mat. Okay. Originally that was going to be a WCW movie. And then WCW took the lead and they didn't want the movie because we're in first. We don't like when we're in, when we're in second. We want we boy we want any kind of a mainstream movie, right? And then as soon as they were in the lead, they didn't want it so much. And then all of a sudden, WWE wanted it, right? And then by the time it comes out, WWE's in the lead, and they hated the movie, you know. And that's like for everyone who wants to know about how this really works, uh, that's probably a good story to understand. It's like whoever is down the most. Although this, you know, this situation is more interesting because, again, they're not looking for enemies. Unlike Vince, who I uh, probably didn't care as much, but it's Nick Khan's company. Nick Khan's a sports guy. Nick Khan's a, a media guy. He's not going to make enemies with the media. But, you know, sometimes things slip, and, and Paul let it slip. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.